Hey Star Wars fans, how's it all going? Welcome back to another Star Wars review. We've got, from the Vintage Collection, we're going back to VC-102. This is, of course, the most recent re-release of Ahsoka. Um, given the popularity and the uh, the value of the figure, the original figure now on the Vintage card, and even in the Black Series, where it got a, got a re-release back in 2013, um, yeah, it's proven quite popular, and obviously Ahsoka's risen in popularity over the years. And uh, yeah, Hasbro's decided to put this one out. I managed to grab two, so I'm very happy. I have one nice and mint in a star case, so this is one I'll be opening. Um, I do have the original, just loose. But uh, yeah, given that it's packed away, um, I just decided to get the updated version. I really like the figure, and uh, the sort of slightly updated paint apps uh, are something that you know I think would benefit the figure um, long term so I, I'm really excited to open this one up and uh, yeah it's hard to believe it's been 10 years since its original release but uh, yeah all the mumbo jumbo on the back list of list of places where you shouldn't put the toy um, let's crack it open and have a look Okie dokie, here is Ahsoka Tano out of the packaging, and there is one reason why I really love this figure, and that is she comes with the unlit hilts, which is just a fantastic addition. They have the moulds, I wish they'd just put them on that Season 7 Ahsoka that we'd got uh, last year. Uh, that would have benefited a great deal. Um, already noticing some nice differences with this figure. Um, here's her lightsabers, her lit blades, so you can sort of see her longer blade in green. And I don't know that the silver is applied all that thickly to the hilt there. You can sort of very much see the green through that silver. But that's not a big deal. Not a big deal. It's going to be in her hand. She's not going to be able to see it. And then the slightly yellow bladed Shoto saber, which is which is cool. Um, but yeah, if you decide to pose her with her green sabers, you can take the hilts and you can give them to the Season 7. Uh, they are the same hilts just not the same color obviously but um so yeah she does hold them well much like the original release some wrist articulation would have been a nice addition to this one but it's okay it's fine i'd really love to see a black series release of this figure we'll get a close-up look at her face you can sort of see the uh slightly tweaked face paint apps they're just a little bit cleaner the eyes are a little bit more defined a little bit of white bleeding just sort of where there's meant to be orange up to the sort of the crown for lack of a better words but that's fine it's a nice looking figure great looking ahsoka Always love this this outfit of hers from season three on onwards up until season seven. So yeah, this time the knee joints have been correctly coloured, whereas on the re last release they were orange. Um, just because the uh, I think they've gone and painted the the orange on this time. No, that might have been right. It might have just been the joint itself that was coloured orange last time. But that's all good it's not a big deal but yeah it's nice to have that little correction uh still only has the swivel hips uh ball hinged hips would be great and uh, i guess if they ever get around to doing a black series version that will indeed have those ball hinged hips the, the shoulders sort of stick out a little bit i did do a bit of a correction with the season seven ahsoka that had a similar issue not so much an issue it's just uh aesthetically they sort of jut out a little bit but it's not a big problem especially if they have her posed with her arms out you can barely know barely tell uh yeah but these hilts they do sort of peg into the holes on the belt always like that they gave her sort of a soft goods continuation and the colour match for the for the paint and the to the fabric is pretty damn close. There's not much better they could do with that. It's a definitely a great figure. She's 
always going to have problems with uh, the, the Montrals, the head tails. It's always going to just restrict movement just a little bit, but that's not too bad. Be a nice looking, nice head sculpt. The sculpt was always there, it's just the paint apps, which probably uh, left a little bit desired on previous releases, but this one looks pretty solid. And uh, it's the Clone Wars one, it's the Clone Wars version of Season 2 Ahsoka, so the animated style of this figure, which is one that goes for crazy, crazy money these days. Um, Boy, am I glad I got that back in the day. But yeah, a great figure, which I'd love to see um, upgraded. i also like to see a realistic version of like Season 1 to 3, 1 to 2 Ahsoka. I think that would be great, in either scale. I'm not fussy. So there is Ahsoka from the Clone Wars, sort of based on her season three through six appearance. So let me know what you think in the comments. That would be Kelar. Thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, got some plenty, plenty of videos coming out. Some more Star Wars, more Marvel Legends. Um, more of everything and it's going to be good because uh, we are in for a treat with all the reveals that just came out of Star Wars Celebration so uh, yeah thank you very much for tuning in to the next video may the force be with you always